If you've been searching for a Google CRM, you're not alone. It's a common query, especially among companies that rely on Gmail, Google Calendar, and the rest of Google Workspace. But here's the thing, Google doesn't offer a native CRM. So what's the next best option? Today, we're gonna spotlight one of the leading CRM solutions specifically for Google Workspace users, Copper. Believe it or not, Copper is the only CRM recommended for Google Workspace by Google themselves. Here's what makes it different. Let's start with that recommended label. This isn't a casual endorsement. Copper is purpose-built to work inside Google Workspace. It connects directly with Gmail, Calendar, Contacts, and Drive, so emails, meetings, files, and client records live in one place. This has a few advantages. First, adoption. Most CRM failures aren't about features. They're about usability. If your team dreads logging into the CRM, data won't get entered. Copper's integration with Google lowers that barrier. It's not a separate system. It's embedded into the workflows people already use. Second, visibility. When emails and meetings are automatically logged and linked to contacts and companies, you don't need to dig through inboxes or chase down updates. Everyone sees the full picture. Third, and increasingly important, AI. Because Copper is intertwined with Google's ecosystem, it's already incorporating Gemini, Google's AI assistant, in ways that improve productivity across sales and client-facing teams. You can use Gemini to generate email copy, and then push that straight into Copper. You can also develop proposals in Docs or pitch decks in Slides, and Copper will surface them within relevant opportunities or contacts. Even meeting transcriptions from Google Meet can be parsed and used to update CRM fields. The result is a system that doesn't just integrate with Google, it amplifies it. So while there may not be a native Google CRM, a solution like Copper feels like a natural extension of it, and it's worth taking a look. Thanks to Copper for sponsoring this video, and if you want to check them out, follow the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for more software breakdowns like this, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.